Hello, my name is Dinos, and I'm the president of Leading Web Studio, LLC, and I run a website design, management, and development company, and I give Proposify a 4 out of 5 rating. Before Proposify, I had been using the invoicing system that I have, which is FreshBooks, and they have a proposal feature in there um, that I had been using to some success, uh, but Proposify has given me the flexibility that FreshBooks uh, estimates uh, feature did not. Um, and that is working much better for me. So I chose Proposify um, after trialing a number of different systems, um, including one that I had a, a free lifetime plan on uh, for a number of years. I chose Proposify simply because the way the system works from the time you log in to creating a proposal, uh, creating proposal templates, um, it all works smoothly. I've never encountered any bugs in the user interface, um, in the sending of a proposal. Um, in addition to that, the integrations uh, are very nice with both Basecamp that I use religiously and also uh, FreshBooks. Uh, and so uh, just having those integrations that work, they work really well. Um, and then last thing is they have the ability to choose a custom domain. So when potential clients of mine receive one of my proposals, they know it's coming from me because they have, it's not coming from, you know, proposify.com or, you know, app.proposify.com, for example. It's coming from my own um, company domain, which helps build uh, a lot of trust with my potential client. In, in setting up Proposify, uh, they have a, a fairly smooth uh, process where they walk you through as a first time customer, what steps you need to take to send your first proposal. Um, and it's very simple. Um, the hardest part really has nothing to do with Proposify. It, it's really, you know, creating any new template language you need for all of your proposals. It's creating the steps um, within the system, but the user interface makes it really easy. It's really inconsequential to set everything up for the first time. If, if you can run a business or talk to someone um, about selling a, a one of your services for your company, it, it's really a no-brainer um, to set up. They make it easy, and their support staff is really good, and they get back to you pretty fast if you have any issues or questions, uh, which I did once or twice. Um, but it was just smooth, and everything just just worked. Um, so it was... It was um, Kind of a joy to set up, which um, is becoming uh, less rare in these days. So I found that um, uh, very nice to have and uh, just one of the reasons why I still use them. In choosing a proposal management system for my company, one of the biggest recommendations I can give to another person or company looking for a system to sell um, proposals and their services and products to customers is know what you want know what features you want there's a lot of different systems which have a lot of different functionality and a lot of them will have the same type of functionality but the devil really is in the, in the details so you want to trial a bunch of different systems and when your potential client sees your proposal you want to have someone who's in your company who is acting as a test potential client. So you can do a test back and forth and see how the system works. And you wanna, it's just very important as you might guess uh, for a potential client to see professionalism and for uh, the system to just present your company in the best light and the best way so that you can get that new business. They can uh, sign on the dotted line and and, and you can make all the money in the world that you want. So, you know, just put, know that, you know, what you get out of the system is what you put into it. And so take that time, you know, write a requirements document, even if it's five bullet points, um, just have something and, and know what you're getting into. Um, if you do all of that, you should be well-versed and know what you are buying. So that's my recommendation.